Hi there girls, this is Jenny with Planner Perfect and today we are going to be talking about my whole week of Valentine's Day and what I did to create the most efficient, most fun and wonderful Valentine's week that I could possibly muster. <music> Welcome to my channel. If you are new, I want to welcome you. I teach women how to write a better story for their lives. And using my method of scripting, be able to see success in their lives with what they are setting out to do. Um, so if you want to know more about the scripting method, I will definitely have links down below so that you can get started. Today though, I'm going to show it's Valentine's Day week. Oh, so full of love. And I really set out to work on envisioning what I really wanted for my week. Uh, what was it going to look like? How was it, you know, really as moms, especially, we have to be really good choreographers, you know? We have to like put something over there and then when someone's taking a nap, we do it over here. So I watch my grandson full time. And um, so I, you know, it's kind of old hat for me, but it's like you always need to, being a homeschooling mom of eight, if you're new, um, that you have to really choreograph and do things in a way that you be that you're able to fit things in and get things done that you want to accomplish. Now, I set out to always do things that are just very, that are just fulfilling. So um, I made homemade vanilla this week and as easy as it is, and as long as I have to wait till it's completed, it was still fun. It's like from scratch, it's like cool. And I loved it. I love, um, you know, making up some bread for the family. I love baking up some um, things in advance on days I know I can, getting them in the freezer. And um, that way I can pull them out with ease on the days that I need them and I'm more busier with, with, with babies and all that. So what a better way though to be planning in for Valentine's month than in our Poppy Traveler's Notebook. If you're new to me, we offer planners and journals and the leather that, um, is, that goes around them. So this is our everyday organized, which has a notepad and all of this fun stuff in there. And I like to kind of make it all pretty on the inside with some of the artwork that is featured. This is like a little scripture book. Um, and this is our journal. And this is the planner that I am working in. So I'm actually going to now flip you around and show you how I planned my week. And um, let's get started. Okay, let's go ahead and dive right in. Um, here we are in our current, this is from the February box. And in here you will find, let's find my week of Valentine's of where I've scripted it. So again, we're using the scripting method. I love to be able to show you just how it really is in action. And <clears throat> Okay, so this is the day, the week at a glance. And again, I really, really love this. Um, it does keep me just where my eyes can go to anything that's really important that I want to make note of. I actually need to add a lot more things to this as we speak. Um, and so I will. So here is actually today. So what, when you go out to plan and everything and begin your visionary work with a script, because when you're scripting, you need to know what to say. So automatically it puts you ahead of everything because you're really being descriptive about how you really want this day to go. Um, and so, and how you're gonna incorporate the things that you need to do. Um, sometimes I, I will do this, like make it a little bit uh, darker or larger for not my eyes to really uh, get to and notice more because I don't notice it. Then I never look at my planner the next day. Very rarely do I. And the reason being is because I have put so much thought process in this the night before that I 
am prompted automatically on what I need to do. It's like in my brain. It's like set in stone. And now I'm just inspired to do my lovely plans. Um, so it's almost for my benefit at night when I'm doing it the night before that I make it large. Like, remember this subconscious, we're making vanilla biscuits and, and start my bread dough. <laughs> okay, so um, I really start out with my morning routine. I'm up um, six or seven. Um, it's a no Wayland day, so I really want to take advantage of that. It's meditation, it's scripting in my journal. Um, we've talked about that in another video. And then it was showering, um, getting emails sent off that I need to do for business, um, getting some other things done that I need to do for the business. And then I'm showering and then getting ready with um, getting my chores done, which then falls into dishes in, dishes out, laundry going. And then I begin to really make brunch, which is r really where my kids begin eating is like, is a brunch time hour. So I made, what I wanted to do today was to make biscuits so that um, I have them for Valentine's Day. So, but I am leaving some on the counter. I made them in the shape of hearts. And that way on Friday, I can just literally, Valentine's Day will be a breeze. So um, then I also then kept going up, folding some laundry, putting away, and then I began making my um, bread dough. I fed the kids, I fed myself. I've been I've been doing raw vegan through the month of February. So been doing smoothie today and lots of fruit. So um, it's my diet, it's pretty easy, but when it goes to them, I'm doing it and cleaning up. I took some frozen banana bread that I made last week, pulled it out. That was so perfect for them to kind of have, um, you know, right around here early afternoon, that kind of a thing, since they had um, a late, an early lunch or a late breakfast. Um, and so here I even had made some plans and then changed them. So I had gone through all this work of thinking I was going to go out and do certain things. And I, then later as I was scripting, I was like, you know what, this isn't a good idea. I'm going to do this on a different day. So I simply just right over here said, revised it and said, this will be swapped out for Wednesday. So, and then I just continued on, um, and went over, this is Ollie clip. I love these. They're so cute kind of just tagging where my day is. Um, so this is all, again, business. I had a business meeting at two. I had all of that kind of thing. Um, all of this kind of stuff for business is basically up here. And my business stuff is, is in here. And so this is where I resort to for my day. That's a different video. And then so here I'm also having a hair appointment that is at four. So I really wanted to make sure that I have everything ready for my husband to feed him and the kids when I go. So I got my spaghetti made. I've got spaghetti and meat sauce. I took out the meat last night because I was prepping this the night before. And so got that done. And then I, it was gonna be bread uh, and then the meat sauce, already all that's done. I've got, so the bread's rising and going. I'm gonna actually get that in the oven, pull it out, get the noodles made sitting in the in the uh, strainer and then the spaghetti sauce on low when I take off at four and he can feed them at five. So this turns out really good. We've actually even, even got picked up this movie for tonight on Amazon, rented it. And then tonight we've been really going on marathon movies every single night. We just jump on the sofa with popcorn and we watch, we watch movies. So this is like an overview of what today is. So this really though is a small fragment of what the whole week is for choreographing my overall week and also pulling in from goals such as Valentine's Day. Those were goals. Those were something objective and intention that I had for that day. I'm not going to let it go by. I've got a lot of young ones. I want to have my husband I want to love up. It's just one of those things where I really want to make it special. So those was that was part of my goals. So like over here. Um, and I also have birthdays this month. And so this was my Valentine's Day goals that I had already taken the time to write out. So all I'm doing now is pulling and now getting serious about which day is these things getting into which day during the week to make Valentine's Day a success. So I already know what I'm getting and buying and doing from over here of the thought I did last month. And so now here is where I'm pulling from and putting in here. Mind you, this day too involves me. This is this is this is like me. I mean, it is like I'm meditating and taking time for me. I'm scripting and I'm journaling my desires and new things I envision in a positive, amazing way for my family and myself. Um, I'm taking care of my body and nutrition by making note of what I'll be eating. 
um, I make note and always um, more than likely, look, today I'm getting my hair cut. Again, another me thing. The business that I do outside of being a mom is something that is my goals, my dreams. So these things take are a part of and integrated into my day with child rearing and being a mother. So all of these things are, are all integrated together in a beautiful life. And I just wanted you to be able to really grasp the scripting method and how you're incorporating, um, you know, just your whole life as a whole. And the more you script, the more you see, hey, how can I make this more inspiring for myself? Hey, what can I do to feel better? Uh, what kind of food could I be eating to feel better? Um, how could I make dinner more healthy for the family? When you start scripting, you're forced to be, to think. You're forced to think. You're forced to be a visual a visualizer of how you want your life to be. And this is exactly how you achieve success because you impress the sub subconscious mind with all that you want to accomplish and do. And you, this is again, where I've talked about this before, this is your work. This is your work. So here's where I went out as far as I could throughout the week. And then I'm gonna be coming back in tonight to fill in the rest. I, um, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, I got to get the baby early. So what am I going to do when I get home? When do I get that shower in? If I don't do it before and I decided I won't, I'm going to do it after he's here. There's certain things that I needed to order. Um, there's lunch already written out. Um, after I take the baby home at 430, what was I going to be doing? I was going to create more video content. It's Instant Pot's gonna be used. So now I'm gonna come back in here and do some more, um, really some fun things of what I wanted to do with babies and kids and things like that and learning and things like that. So here we have where I have the baby at a certain time. <clears throat> I have a house cleaner that comes in. And so now I'm gonna be taking the kids out of the house. So we're gonna do lunch and do some fun things. And then we're gonna come home and we're gonna make Play-Doh and edible Play-Doh, something that's going to be super fun for the younger ones for sure. Um, videos I need to do and all of that. And then here we get to, um, I even script out certain things that I already am writing that I'm grateful for that, um, had already happened, um, that I had, that, that I am desiring to transpire. So I just, I love to script that kind of stuff out. Now here I have dinner roast and potatoes so um baby goes home at seven this will be crock pot so since i have a house cleaner i can't get into the kitchen so before they come i put a crock pot meal in and so that's right here and i put that in and then we're out the door and dinner will be ready for us when it's time and so i've thought that well out um i've got here i have our thursday when i have the baby what i'm doing um I have more of a baking day because I want to do a couple more things for Valentine's Day and I decided to do it the day before. Um, I'm also then taking the baby home at four that day. So I thought, well, after I take him home, then I'm going to go out and go grab all of the secret little Valentine stuff that I want for the babies. Like we do helium balloons and little chocolates and then I'm going to get them a little surprise that they can go and do a scavenger hunt for on Valentine's Day. So I kept going as far as I could. I got hit some of my Friday, but I do wanna add two um, as we go. I'm still tweaking it. I had did this on Sunday evening. So, and today is um, Monday. So here I wrote down some things of how I wanted their morning to wake up to. I don't have the baby today. So here we have what we're gonna be doing. I still wanna get creative with my lunch for them. I have dessert ideas, what I'm gonna be doing, and then dinner, what they wanted. And then we're gonna to go to a movie in the evening as a family. So we have some fun stuff and I have to dive in real deep with my weekend because I have lots of things that I need to do business-wise and also with kids and do other things of that nature. So this is when I really prep up my whole week the following week are on is on the weekend in the winter in particular because you know you're snowed in and it's cold and so I always use the weekend to my advantage in the winter. So I really wanted to show you and you know and then you'll see how I have incorporated some of my baking stuff, what I do, and all of these things just come to pass. They come to fruition and they're including me, they're including my morning routine, they're including how I care for the home, they're including 
when I go get my hair or my nails done or when how I'm eating and incorporating my health. Um, it isn't just a bullet pointed list of things that people demand of me in being a mother, uh, but rather it's a, a role that I wouldn't trade for the world and I take it very seriously and I set intentions and anything because I'm so full of intention and what I teach is that when you're so, when you're filled with intention and you know where you're going and you know which, where you're headed and you're, then you are able to say no to anything or anybody uh, if it doesn't align with where you and your family are going, your goals, your dreams. So when those things are established, and again, we talked about this with journaling daily and discovering who we are and the desires of our hearts, those kind of things will start to reveal themselves to you and what they are. And you'll be prompted and, and pushed to go and do certain things to reach that potential and that um that end result you're looking for and your pages will be filled with that. That is the whole purpose and meaning of the method. I hope that this has helped you guys. I hope that this is, you could see it in just clear view again of what a week would be looking like, how it's so scripted and how it's come to pass. Mind you, this is the first time I've opened this planner since Sunday night. So last night, and I have done all of this so far, except for running to the hair appointment here within an hour. So, um, it's just one of those things where everything you go to set out to do is so beautiful and it is your life and you set intentions for it and you, you were thinking about it as you were scripting because you cannot not do that. And so you impress the subconscious always with your intentions and your desires. And then those flow out of you and your mind becomes a machine that is for your benefit. And you begin to be more of a uh, master of your mind and a keeper of your thoughts so that you are writing and doing and being and behaving of the things you want to have and come to pass versus spending ample amounts of thought time in what you don't like and, and treating your planner as only a tool to keep things, um, organized in a way that you can see so that you can check them off while still really feeling as though you're not living your full potential um, with your spirit, mind, body, and soul. And um, that is not any way to live. I want to really get you pumped and excited about scripting a life that you love. And it truly comes from just within you. You have everything that you need right now to live a life that you truly love. Girls, until next time we're together, I hope this has helped. Leave a comment. Let me know if it did, if you've gotten started with the scripting method. Um, I'll leave links to my shop so that you can get started with this method right away. It is a life changer. Until next time. <laughs>